Today we're going to be taking a look at the guitar that brings German engineering and American rock and roll together perfectly. What's up everybody, I'm Bailey from Mojo's Music and today we've got the Alliance Mike Campbell from Duesenberg. Now if you've played the Duesenberg Star Player TV before, you're probably super familiar with what we have in this guitar. They're fairly similar in all of the details, except this one is specifically made to Mike Campbell's specs and is his tribute guitar. Duesenbergs are some of the most meticulous and fine-tuned guitars that you can get your hands on. There are so many features with Duesenbergs, and particularly this Alliance Mike Campbell, that it's gonna be hard to hit all of them. So I'm gonna just try to give you the personal highlights that I love. First, we have a full laminated maple body with a set maple neck and a rosewood fingerboard. Now, all of Duesenberg's guitars are run through a Plec, which is a fine-tuning machine for a guitar's neck, so the finger board, the string action height, the truss rod adjustments, the fret level is all perfectly done because it's computer engineered down to the finest detail to be set exactly right. We also have two excellent pickups, the Domino P90 from Duesenberg in the neck and the Grand Vintage Humbucker in the bridge. These are both epic sounding pickups, they work perfectly well together. The pickup selection also has a middle position which allows you to combine the two pickups and it's a great combination kind of a match made in heaven, actually. Next, let's talk about the bridge. This has the Duesenberg Less Trim System, uh, which is a tremolo arm that looks a lot like a Bigsby, but I think has some serious improvements over a Bigsby. So more so than any tremolo system I've really used before, the Duesenberg Less Trim works really well. You can do all sorts of dive bombs with it. and it comes back up to pitch perfect nearly every time. Now this guitar is a semi-hollow. It's got the maple block running down the center of the body and it has a lot of features you would expect from a semi-hollow. It's got the warmth, the clarity, and the punch that semi-hollows are known for. But it really doesn't perfectly fit into any particular category. There's no perfect comparison for what this guitar is like. It has some features of an ES-335, it has some features of a Gretsch, it has some features of a solid body Les Paul style even. It combines the best of these guitars together to give you something that's really unique and really special. The neck position on this guitar gives you a really warm rhythm sound that perfectly fills a mix but doesn't overpower any one particular area in the frequency spectrum. Meanwhile, the bridge position is great for lead tones. It's not overpowering or overbearing, and it's not super hot out of the box, but it's clear and it's punchy and it will get through the mix exactly to the front. And then the middle position gives you a nice snappy and full sound that has some high-end punch, but isn't quite as hot and isn't going to really push forward like a lead position on the bridge pickup. This guitar is perfect not just for Mike Campbell fans or for Tom Petty fans, but for people who want that classic Americana rock and roll sound. The shape of the body with the Les Paul style, the semi-hollow build of the guitar, the less trim arm, and the combination of the pickups, it just all adds up to the perfect storm for that classic rock and roll sound. So if that's the type of thing you're after, or honestly, if you just want a well-built and well-engineered guitar that feels good when you take it off the shelf, the Duesenberg Mike Campbell Alliance is probably the guitar for you. And I mean, honestly, it's not hard to look at either. This is a good looking guitar. It's a great playing guitar. It's a great sounding guitar. So if you have any other questions or if you want to come try this guitar out for yourself, look us up online at mojosmusic.com or come visit us in the store.